Good morning. Um, as I was introduced, I'm Lori Gilbert from Region 12 Council of Governments. Region 12 covers the rural counties of Audubon, Carroll, Crawford, Green, Guthrie, and Sac, as well as four communities in Dallas County, Perry, Redfield, Minburn, and Linden as associate members. Region 12 was first introduced into housing in 1991 with a $100,000 grant to assist 20 families. We're very excited about the opportunity to learn this new uh, or meet the needs for, for something that wasn't quite being done in fulfillment. Since then, that number has surpassed 2,500. This has been possible not only through federal home loan bank funding, but also through uh, Iowa Department of Economic Development. Iowa Finance Authority, Housing Trust Fund, USDA Rural Development, but however, the, uh, it's the funds from the Federal Home Loan Bank grant that has played a very important role in this housing assistance in our region. These funds allow us the flexibility to provide grants to a broader range of very low-income families on a regional basis. The federal home loan grants provide emergency repair when we get the calls that somebody's furnace has been leaking carbon monoxide or has just quit working in the dead of cold. Increasing energy efficiency by replacing windows or installing insulation. Making a home safe so a lead poisoned child can return home. We re we've uh, helped to replace roofs or updating unsafe electrical systems and a big asset in the area has been the handicap accessibility so an elderly homeowner can remain in their homes longer. We've been able to expand our assistance by ensuring that communication is ongoing with other partners like rural development and weatherization staff. This results in maximizing the assistance so family, families needs are better met. In fact our brochure says the one stop shop housing repair program. A homeowner has to just put in an application to us. We will try and meet their needs. If we can't, we will reach out to the other agencies to see if we can do a joint project. This has uh, resulted in maximizing um, the assistance and better meeting the needs. At this time, almost 500 families have been assisted with the federal home loan grant, grant funds, and we look forward to continuing our relationship with the federal home loan bank and working with Iowa State Bank with this new grant. I appreciate the opportunity to come today. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, Senator Harkin was unable to be here this morning, so he asked me to um, read this letter on his behalf. Dear friends, I will be with you in spirit today as you gather to announce the latest round of affordable housing program grants. At a time when many thousands of foreclosures are happening all across Iowa and the United States, it is more important than ever that we commit ourselves to helping people to become responsible homeowners. This is good news for the new homeowners and good news for the neighbors that they will support as owners. Since 1990, the Des Moines branch of the Federal Home Loan Bank has done a great job of helping Iowans obtain affordable housing. The funds being announced today will continue to assure that housing is available to deserving families in our state. As a senior member of the Appropriations Subcommittee, that funds housing initiatives, I pledge to continue supporting programs that provide Iowans with affordable options so that a safe place to call home is always within reach of our fellow citizens. I send my heartfelt congratulations on the 20th anniversary of the Affordable Housing Program. Have a successful event in Des Moines and a safe trip home afterwards. With warm regards, Tom Harkin, United States Senator. Thank you. Robert, thanks for bringing those words from Senator Harkin. 